Now we see about data link layer. This, this is the second layer of 7 OSI reference model in computer networks. This data link layer works between two hosts which are directly connected. The functionality of data link layers are framing, flow control, addressing, synchronization and error control and error detection. Now we say about this functionality alone now. Now we say about what is mean by error. Error means transmitted data is corrupted during the communication. It is affected by external noise or physical failures. In such situation, input data is not same as the output data. The data errors may result in the loss of importance or secure data. Now, we see the types of errors. First one is single bit error. Only one bit, bit of data is changed. For example, the sender may send this data and receiver receive this data. Here, the only one bit is changed. So, this type of uh, error is called single bit error. Now, the second, we say second type, multiple bit error. Two or more non-consecutive bits in a data unit have changed. See, fra changed from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. See the example. The sender sends this message, this data, and receiver receives this data. Here, non-consecutive data is changed. And here, 1 is changed to 0, and uh, here also 1 is changed to 0. So, this type of non-consecutive data, two or more data is changed, is called multiple bit error. Third one is burst error. Two or more consecutive bits in a data unit have to change from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. See the example, sent data is this and received data is this. See here, the consecutive bits are changed. 1 is changed to 0. So, this is called burst error. So, these are the three types of errors. Next, we see the error deduction technique. What is mean by error deduction? To find the error is called error deduction. See, we have two types of error deduction techniques are there. First one is redundancy technique. May, this is the main technique to detect the errors. Group of bits are adding to end of data unit is called redundancy technique. See here, sender sent the data, generate some function and see here in the adding add redundant data checker functionality. Send to, uh, send to receiver. The receiver side checking some functionality. Uh, uh, based on this functionality, the receiver may find whether the error is occurred or not. Now, we see the second method, exact count encoding. The number of ones in the data unit is same in sender and the receiver side. So, based on these two techniques, we see the number of methods to find the errors. First one is parity checking. Uh, parity checking means count the total number of ones in data. So, there are two types of parity checkings are there. First one is even parity and another one is odd parity. See here, center data is 0011, 1000. The receiver side, see the same, repeat the same center data 0011 and add the 0. Because the even number of 1 is here, so add 0. See here, odd number of 1 is there, so add 1 here. The, so based on this, we are checking the errors. Odd parity means, 
see here sender data is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, E1 uh, number of 1 is there means put 1. 1, 0, 0 means add 0 here. Next technique is, uh, this technique is also called as VRC. That means vertical redundancy checking. Next we see the LRC. That is longitudinal redundancy. See, this is the data 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. 1100. See here in this graph we add the redundant code. See uh, add all these numbers one by one. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Add these three numbers we got 1, 1, 0, 0. See this code is added here. This is called longitudinal redundancy check. Third one is Cyclic redundancy check that is C or C. See here, this is the sender data, this is the redundant code, this is the divider. So, here uh, we have uh, taken 3 bits here. So, take redundant code as 2 zeros. So, it should be less than 1. Divide this uh, number, we got some reminder. So, uh, and then after that, this reminder is added as a redundant code, code and it, this will be sent to receiver. In the receiver side, this uh, redundant code is with along with this reminder, <coughs> we added and again divide mechanism is taken and uh, if got 0 means no error is occurred. Fourth one is checksum. See, sender and you have text so that is data and take some complement function and that will be received by the receiver. See here data is this. Now we add this data so 110 we add these two things and takes one complement for this sum. So, 0, 0, 1, 1. In the receiver side, add these two things along with this complement 0, 0, 1. Add all these things, we have got 1, 1, 1. And take the complement for this uh, summing, uh, you have 0, 0, 0. So, no error is occurred. So, based on these techniques, we have to find whether error is occurred or not. Thank you.